Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Centering, and our scripture is Psalm 62. Don't make your living by extortion or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the center of your life. God has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times. Power, O God, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. Centering is the act of deciding on a focal point for your attention. Related to life with faith in Christ, to center is to put every distraction, whether good things or practices, on the outside of the center, and barring access to all evil things. Simply put, Christ must be the center of your life, or you violate the basic premise of being his disciple. Christ is not a means to an end. He is the end the center point of the universe, and therefore the target for everything we do. The psalmist held up the image of a powerful person in a worldly sense, one who extorts secretly or steals unashamedly or both. God says it plainly, this is dead wrong. But what about if your wealth increases honestly? Even then, the opportunity to sin is extant if you allow wealth to become the center focus of your life. The reason is, as I said previously, is it violates the priority God has laid out for believers. Jesus is the incontrovertible center of everything. Money and power are a corrupting influence to the believer who would live godly. And here's an unsettling fact for those of us who might shrug that off, thinking since we are in no danger of being called wealthy by most of the world, it just doesn't apply to us. The reality of wealth is its relativity. You can be just as centered on money when you're on the poverty line as when you're living in a mansion you bought for $40 million. As a pastor... I've had much access to people's thoughts as they share with me. I've seen this principle of corruption at work in both the rich and poor and everyone in between. People on the margins of life are worrying about where the next meal might be found. The person on the other side of the tracks with cars and houses and all kinds of toys and disposable income fear that tomorrow's stock report might take it all away. Both persons are slave to things and the power to control them. But I've also known people on both sides of those economic tracks who trust God for everything. They are those who are living the completely free life of a believer who is also a true disciple of Jesus. For you today. Let's listen to Jesus for our final thought on this subject as he taught that famous Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6. No one, said Jesus, can serve two masters, for you'll hate one and love the other, you'll be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. That's why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.